Hello again, whiskey friends. Welcome back to the Whiskey Rift Lounge. My name is Kelsey. So glad you decided to join me today. If you are new to the channel, click the like and subscribe. If you're not new to the channel, go ahead and uh, put your comments down below on this one. This is going to be a fun one. We are talking about Still Austin Bottled and Bond Red Corn Bourbon Whiskey. So let's get into this right away and appreciate you joining me. Hey everybody, welcome back guys. So I'm excited about this one because it's a little bit different flavor profiles and mash bill that we're gonna be talking about today. So this mash bill is 36% red corn, 34% white corn, 25% rye and 5% malted barley. It's aged for a minimum of four years because it is a bottled and bond in a bonded warehouse. So um, this is a little bit older uh, still Austin than their typical offerings, um, but they are aging up. And so this is going to be a fun one. Again, this is the Still Austin Bottled and Bond Jimmy Red Corn Bourbon Whiskey. So let's get into the nose. Cheers, whiskey friends, and cheers to Mash and uh, Journey Whiskey Club, Scott and Jason. Let's get into the nose on this thing. Okay, so it's a little soft on the nose, but you get hints of like pear and honey and graham cracker off the nose uh, for this, which is kind of a different feel for a four-year-old bourbon whiskey. I think the red corn combined with the white corn gets a different profile, obviously, on the nose. Let's get back into it and see what else I'm getting. Um, you get a little bit of the sharpness of the young whiskey, of a four-year-old whiskey, but it's really subdued on the sharpness, which is good. Um, you still get some of those bourbon notes that you typically would find, like the vanillas. Um, that's the one that sticks out the most, like that's common about this, but the pear and the honey and graham cracker even, I'm getting a little bit off of the nose as well. But it's just really different. So let's get into the palette and see how this thing uh, does. Okay. It's real soft up front. Um, not what I expected it to be up front. It's still a little bit sweet, but it's real soft and delicate. Almost like um, comes across a little bit floral um, on the on the first part of your palate but then you get those notes that I mentioned the pear and the honey and the graham cracker towards the middle of the palate let's go back in for the middle of the palate and see how that coats yeah so the mid palate is kind of where everything kind of explodes out you get a little bit of oak coming across in the mid palate that goes into the back but all of those notes up front that you're not getting you're getting in the mid palate so the vanilla um you get more of those honey notes as well as some of those slight pears and if you guys are talking if you've ever eaten a pear it's a ripe pear it's not just a regular pear um the other thing that i would compare it to is there's a little bit of apple note and i think the apple that i would consider that most be a, that it would be like is the honey crisp apple because it gets a little bit of that sweetness the honey flavor and then that crispness of an apple so let's go back in for the final sip here and see what the finish looks like okay so Again, I still think the mid palate is where this shines. Um, the finish is not super long, but most of the things that you're getting on the finish are from the mid palate just drifting back. You don't get a lot of lingering notes in the finish. You still get some of that oak, which is nice, which is on the outsides of my tongue. But for the most part, all of these things that I'm tasting are right in the mid palate. It's super easy to drink, super approachable. Like I said, the only sharpness to it 
is right up um, on the front part of the palate, which is odd. I would expect it to be sweeter up front, but I think the the red corn has a particular effect on it that is uh, bringing out those other notes in the mid palate that is helping it kind of build out and round out. It is very well rounded. The blend itself, obviously, Nancy does a great job blending. Cheers to you, Nancy Fraley. The nose um, did this one, and I'm really excited to uh, to have a bottle of this because I think that if I could get my hands on it all regularly, this would be in the rotation for my daily drinker. Just because it's approachable, it's easy. That's not super complex, but it's something that is just super easy to drink and enjoyable. So. Let's look at the scores and jump into those. So if you're new to the channel, we break down these whiskeys by a few scores, one of them being flavor, experience, and value. And there's a lot of other things that go into those particular scores, but that's what we do here on the channel. So flavor score on this one is pretty high. It's 80. Uh, the e-experience score was 78. It was just slightly under. I think it's probably due to the fact that there's not a lot of things up front that just kind of hits you. But it is 100 proof, so it's going to drink soft. It's well uh, within its range of what it, of, to expect as well. Um, the value score is 90. I think I paid 50 bucks for this. So overall, we're looking at a very good whiskey. Nancy does a great job of blending these things well. Um, I'm always, if Nancy's in something, I'm definitely going to grab a bottle of it just because I trust her palate and her nose and her ability to take what is considered young whiskey and give it a well, a really well balanced, um, uh, what am the word I'm looking for? <laughs> really well balanced whiskey experience. That's what I'm looking for. So let's jump back in and wrap this thing up. So guys, again, this was the Jimmy Red Corn Still Austin bib being bottled in bond, four years old. If you guys see this out, I would really um, encourage you to grab one. It's very easy to drink. Um, I think that this one may be a little bit outside the realm of a new bourbon drinker's palate, but I definitely think this is one that you can sit down with and enjoy as uh, a bourbon drinker that's been drinking all kinds of stuff and really get a different palate experience than their cash strength or even their regular uh, offering that they have. Um, cheers guys. I'm going to wrap this up now. It is definitely a buy. Thanks for sticking around and we'll see you here next time on the whiskey riffs lounge. Thanks guys. Jeff, just be friends with me, but you have these whiskey friends and you say hello again. Oh, Jeffrey, you should just be friends with me. But you have these whiskey friends And you say hello again Oh Jeffrey, you Should just be friends with me But you have these whiskey friends